Hello, Kerry here. I'm going to be working in my six by six inch art journal. I'm trying to finish it off actually. Um, so I'm working on the back side of a page I've already done. Um, these are the disc holes on the right hand side. They've got a bit battered. I was trying to punch them when they were a bit too wet, which is a bit silly of me. Never mind. They still hold. And here's my palette with all my colours. Going to bung a bit more crimson in there. No, nope, couldn't get that bottle open. Of course, another one somewhere. Here we go. Nice brand new one. Oh, nice splodge of colour there. The colours I'm going for in this spread are going to be purples, mostly. And um, yes, because what I want to go on top will contrast nicely with that colour. So I'm just going around the edges to start with. And this is a mixture of uh, ultramarine and crimson. And now I've added a little bit of blue into the mix. I'm just working all over. Now I've changed uh, brush size and now I've gone in for a more um, lighter purple colour here. I like to vary the brush sizes uh, because it gives a bit of variety to the actual page. And now I've got a more of a light blue colour happening now. And I'm trying to move it more towards mauve. That's a pretty pale, pretty pe pale, pretty pale <laughs> purple colour. That's difficult to say. I hope my pop filter is working adequately. Then. <laughs> and there I've got the colours on. Just doing some mark making while I've got the small paintbrush in my hand. and adding a bit of um, very light blue there. It's gorgeous. And making some marks as well. Bringing the colour further around the area and making some more dashes. And so very light blue there. It's almost white, but it is actually blue. And now I'm going to put some collage pieces on. So I put my arm in the way there. Just scrubbing through my box of odds and ends. And I'm using the collage papers the leftovers from previous pages. And I'm just trimming it now. There. Just making sure that's pressed down. I used glue stick to stick those pieces down with, by the way. And then we're going to go in with some more colour and I'm going to integrate the collage pieces with the rest of the paint. So they don't look just stuck on. I'm using my medium sized brush here. I think it's, hmm, it's either half an inch or three quarters of an inch. I can't quite see. I do love these square brushes. They're great for this job. better a bit more central in the screen I kept on going all over the place with that it's because I've zoomed in and um, it leaves me less area to um, control really so now I'm going in with one of my homemade stencils mixing up some color
and looking for a sponge and here we go it's a purple color a dark purple color I'm just sponging it on lightly it's a little bit splodgy I think I had a bit too much water in there but never mind just give it a quick blast with the hairdryer And I'm going to use this stencil. In the first attempt, I do make a bit of a mess. So you'll see me mess up and then you'll see me rectify the situation. I'm using a lighter color because I want to show up against the dark purple in this area. So we're going in with the pale blue. But again, that's a mess because it was too wet again i had too much water it's actually the water seems to hold the sponge seems to hold a lot of water so i'm just going over again with the purple and then i'll be able to try again so this time i have a lot less water in my sponge and that looks a lot better that's good i have to do a little bit just down here so it's tied in together. So never fear, if you go wrong, you can always sort it out again. You can always put more paint on or put more collage on. I'm just going to add some stenciling of my little triangles. I don't want to do those in light colour. Maybe an off-white. There we go. I'm trying to lighten the page a little bit. And I've learned my lesson not to have too much water on that sponge. That's much better. Going in with some circles now. Again, this is a homemade stencil of mine. I'm now going to do some stamping. This is a stamp. I've had for a long time and I don't really know where it came from. But it looks like messy text, which is quite nice. I'll put a little bit at the top there, but, um, just in that corner. That's it. That's looking lovely now. Just uh, stamping off the ink. <laughs> and now I'm trying to decide what to do next. I have some pieces I want to put on as embellishment and I'm just wondering how exactly to do that. I want to kind of arrange them in a cluster. These are leaves I've painted in watercolour. I've decided it's a little bit too busy so I'm going to knock some areas back with a pale purple um, application of paint. I'm also going to do some mark making while I'm at it as well and I'm using the medium size brush. I just felt it was a little bit too busy. I quite like it being busy, but it was too much. And this does tie things together a bit better. So this is how the cluster of leaves is going to go on. I'm going to staple them together. And I've got the word walk, and I'm looking for another word to go with it. I have my box of words, and I'm using the word secret walk, but I want it to be secret walks. So I've got a stamp the large S. I'm going to pop that next to it. I'm going to glue these down first I think. Move things out of the way. Need someone to put some gluing paper down. I love the fact that the word walk is in orange as well. So secret walk and now I want S. So I stamped it there, but it's a bit lost with all the other stuff, so I'm going to stamp it again on some card. It's a bit of scrap watercolour paper there, I do believe. And I'm going to pop that on instead. 
it stands out a lot better. Trim that. I need to trim the bottom off. It's a bit too long. There we go. That's great. I love it. Now I need to stick down the leaves because they're just hovering there at the moment. And I'm just going to use glue stick. It's fairly strong and this is lightweight watercolour paper I used. So I'm going to pop it down there like that with all the edges hanging off, which I totally love doing. And here it is. I really enjoyed working in this piece. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you very much for tuning in. Bye.